Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Higher Mathematics and really interesting math challenge today we have x to the power x to the power 5 equal to 5. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, however many people are going to get this problem incorrect, so if you could do this without a calculator, put those calculators away and write your option down into the comment section, what do you think is the correct answer to this really interesting interesting question. Before solving this question, I want you to look at this really great trick to this to this challenge. First of all, we should raise both sides to the power 5, so we have x to the power x to the power 5, let's raise this left hand side to the power 5 and we should do the same thing with right hand side. So we should raise to the power 5 our right hand side, okay? We just raise both sides to the power 5, it changed nothing, we just do this and it's really important moment right now because this is really great trick right here. Take a look closely. For example, imagine we have x to the power a raised to the power b. So for example, we have expression like that. And we can easily write it as x to the power a times b. Everyone know about it, we can write it as a product. And because of a product, we can easily swap this b and a, so we can write it as x to the power b times a, and in the same way we can write it as x to the power b raised to the power a. And if you look closely in the beginning and in the end of this expression, right here we have a and b, and after this uh, after this uh, evaluation we have b and b and a. So we can easily swap this a and b right here and in a reverse way, a and b, a and b right here, okay? So right now let's swap these powers. So right here we have x to the power 5 as a power and right here 5. So let's swap these, these powers. We can do this because of this rule. Someone called this rule as rule of interchange. So let's let's use this. Let's check this. Let's check this rule. So we have x to the power. Instead of x to the fifth, we write this 5 because we swap these, these powers. So we have 5 and x to the power 5. So this rule go, this exponent go outside. Okay, equal to 5 to the power 5. Okay, this is our expression right now after this after this step. And right here, if you look closely, on the right hand side we have same base and same exponent. Yeah, we have 5 and 5. And on the left hand side, if you look closely, we have x to the power 5. Yeah, right here, so the same base. And this is x to the power 5, this is the same exponent. So this is looks like the same base and same exponent on the left hand side. And same base and same exponent on the right hand side. So one and only case that this equation will have roots is when x to the power 5 is equal to, so base equal to base and exponent equal to exponent, okay? And because of our exponent, our base, our exponent on the left hand side is absolutely the same with our uh, exponent and uh, base on the right hand side, so we will have our one equation x to the 5th equal to 5, doesn't matter, base equal to base or exponent equal to exponent, we will have from this one, we have x to the power 5 equal to, equal to 5, from here let's uh, take a fifth root on both sides, so we will have our x equal to fifth root, fifth root of 5. Okay, let's check this root, let's, let's prove it, let's check it in our expression, so let's prove it. So we have our expression x to the power x to the power 5, we know our x equal to fifth root, fifth root of 5, so we have something like that, we have fifth root, fifth root of 5, to the power fifth root of 5, and to the power 5. Okay, let's uh, let's simplify this a little bit. Before so before simplifying this, let's start with this with this uh, exponent. Let's let's start with this power because we can easily write this five this uh, fifth root of five as five to the power one fifth. Yep. Yeah? So we have fifth root of five. If we raise this to the power five to the power one fifth. So five to the power one fifth, and we raise this to the power to the power five. So all of this we raise to the power five. If we rate this one to the power 5, we have only 5, because 1 fifth to the times 5 equal to 1. So we have only 5, and as a result, let's write it right here, so as a result of the last step, fifth root of 5 raised to the power 5, which is equal to, which is equal to, which is equal to 5, absolutely the same as I told before. So let's write our answer, let's write our answer, x equal to fifth root, fifth root of 5. This is our answer to this really interesting mesh challenge. So I hope you understand this explanation, I hope you learned something new, and I hope you understand my thoughts about this question. This is a very tricky challenge, a lot of students make this mistake, and I wanted to record this video, I want you to learn this really important rule in terms of, in terms of math. So thank you for your time, have a great day, see you in the next videos, if you enjoyed this video, you can easily leave a like, write any comment, and that definitely helped me out to improve my videos every day. So thank you for your time, have a great day, and thank you for your support.